विकासवादी से अवसरवादी बने कांग्रेस और आरजेडी के शरण में गए पूरे बिहार की स्थिति आवश्यक स्थिति बनी हुई है अपराध फिर से चरम पर जा रहा है कानून और व्यवस्था ध्वस्त हो गई है फिर कहीं और भाषण दे रहे हैं अब आप भी जरा बताइए क्या अनुभव है इन लोगों का दो में पहली बार ये राजनीति में आए राज्य मंत्री बने कितना दिन का अनुभव है देश बचाना है बाबा साहब अंबेडकर के संविधान को बचाना है बिहार को आगे बढ़ाना है देश को आगे बढ़ाना है खाली जुमला नहीं बोलिए हम बिहारी लोग हैं हमको पूर्वक मत समझिए In just about 15 months ladies and gentlemen the country will be casting the ballot to elect the next government will it be under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi and with the vote go to the bjp and will it be a hat trick for the pm or will it be an opposition and if it is going to be the opposition then who in the opposition will lead the charge modi versus who is a question that's been asked multiple times but what stood out today as union home minister amit shah pulled no punches when he took on nitish kumar is when he called him for his opportunism he called him out for his opportunism saying a man who has spent his life fighting against the congress party and jungal raj that means uh, lalu yadav jumped ship just to further his own ambition Ayaram gayaram no more the doors of the bjp are closed for nitish forever is what he has turned around and said he's also said that his prime ministerial zest or ambition has put paid to his entire political career and his political stature that's what amit shah alluded to clearly there was a criticism and a counter that came from nitish kumar and also it came from the likes of lalu yadav who said that all of us that means the opposition has to come together to try and oust narendra modi amit shah also said that the very people that he opposed for the for his whole life he seems to have surrendered himself to them that's what he was alluding to nitish kumar with respect to sonia gandhi and lalu yadav tejasvi yadav the person whom nitish has actually promised that i will hand over the chair of the bjp of the bihar chief minister's kursi the chair to you but he's not stipulated when But in this run-up to the next 15 months, does the JDU stand for any credibility now, given the number of times Nitish Kumar has done this ayaram gayaram or dal badlu? These questions remain, along with the fact that is there really governance being delivered currently? We start with that news just coming through. In view of Bihar's Grand Alliance rally. The Purnia University in Bihar has actually postponed the graduation second year examination. Saurav Rathore getting us these details. A notice regarding the same has been published on the university's website. Students are advised through a notice by visiting the official website. The examination will remain postponed until the 15th of March 2023. So you have pushed the exams by 20 days. to facilitate a massive rally that's that's the reality that's the reality let's go across to our guest dr nikhil anand spokesperson of the bjp satyaprakash mishra senior leader of the jdu should join us and arun anand consulting editor first post oh they're all there namaste and jai hind thank you very very much the the largest question or perhaps the first question is and i'm going to ask this of dr nikhil anand of the bjp why did amit shah ji yeah. have to single out nitish kumar and sharpen this attack is the bjp trying to seed the grounds for coming with us becoming the party with the single largest mandate he said that also ki bjp ko akele number de do and he alluded to the demographic change around the borders of bihar which is happening that's when he brought that reference 
But if that was the case, then it also reflects the fact that the BJP heard. The BJP made the mistake of trusting Nitish Kumar. Yeah, you are right. Actually, Nitish Kumar is a man who has zero credibility, zero worth. But the time you remember, in 1994, when there was a chaos, confusion in Bihar, and we fought together against the Jangal Raj, as well as the corruption, lawlessness, and what is what was happening in Bihar that time. We put Nitish Kumar on our shoulders. We raised his slogan. And we met Nitish Kumar, the chief minister of Bihar. But when we started our journey in 2005, you see what happened in 2013? Hmm. He apologized and came back to us. And again, he parted with just for his petty daydream. No, but you didn't also realize. What happened? No, no you also, you were also opportunistic. Who left you, who had been told to 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 you, who had been told कि जब प्रधानमंत्री गया में थे तो बम विस्फोट के बारे में इन्हें पता था इन्होंने करवाया आप फिर जाके उनसे गलबैया करने लगे ना आपने तो यू आर आल्सो ऑपर्चुनिस्टिक सो व्हाई शुड यू कॉल ओनली नीतीश बाबू ऑपर्चुनिस्टिक नहीं बिहार को बचाने के लिए हमें लगा कि नीतीश कुमार ने शायद ये पश्चाताप किया होगा और अब वो सही रास्ते पर जाएंगे बट आई थिंक दैट ही इज अ हैबिचुअल ऑफेंडर एंड नाउ टुडे इन टुडेस मीटिंग व्हेन आवर ऑनरेबल होम मिनिस्टर has said directly that there is no comeback for Nitish Kumar. Now, Nitish Kumar is just a fodder for RJD. Hmm. And he has to suffer for the kind of politics he has played. No, he what is, politics has he played? That kind of politics? Think, you, even you, BJP as a political party has been opportunistic. Haven't you been opportunistic? Haven't you relied on opportunism? When you have inducted, you have you have inducted you have inducted leaders from parties you have opposed. You have just because it suited you. JDU and RJD like parties. RJD is a family-based party. Why? I am not getting into. I am not getting into parivarvad. I am just focusing on avsarvad. Now, if you are avsarvadi, avsarvadi, to har koi hota hai. But let let let's just see what kind. Looking for an opportunity is another thing. But when you are habitual offender, you are taking U-turns and U-turns and U-turns hmm. just for your petty daydream, hmm. then of course, you can be called opportunist. Uh, so uh, so, so let, let's take this to Satya Prakash Mishra ji. Satya Prakash Mishra ji, jo, jo vyakti apne hi commitment pe commit khara nahi utra, wo desh ko kaise vade, desh ko kaise kis tarah ke vade dega. How can Ritish Kumar present himself as a credible prime ministerial face when his own words cannot be trusted? First of all, Anandji Nitish Kumar has never claimed and never expressed that he wished to become the Prime Minister of India. He has several times on several platforms clarified that he has no such kind of ambition. On the other hand, mm. what I am trying to tell you and the, uh, through your channel to your viewers that Nitish Kumar is Chief Minister since 2005. Mm. In 2005, he committed to the people of Bihar, Sushasan, Sushasan, Sushasan and he established that. On the second term, he committed that the electricity will be to the every household, otherwise he will not go to seek any kind of vote from the voters. He mm. fulfilled that promise. Mm. He fulfilled that promise and once... But did he get the mandate from the people? Some woman approached him. What a surprise! Yeah, yeah. Second time what, he again... No, no, one minute, one minute. Hold on. What? I don't interfere. Nikhil I don't Nikhil interfere. Nikhil Hold on. Nikhil Hold on. Nikhil He's a man of commitment to Nikhil the Nikhil principle of governance. Nikhil Nikhil He's a Nikhil, Nikhil, one, one, one minute, one minute, one Nikhil, minute, one minute, Nikhil, one minute, Nikhil, one minute. Nikhil, Nikhil, Satya Prakash, Nikhil, Dr. Nikhil Anand. No, no. I, I, I'm just going to request both of you. One minute, Satya Prakash, one I'll give you your I chance to debate. Please, please. Nitish Kumar, Nitish Kumar yes, is a man of... My, my sincere simple Nitish point is... Nitish Kumar is a man of commitment to the principle of governance to the people of India. If that is India, the case, not to the BJP or any other political has party. He, has he won incremental he has, number of he seats? He has fulfilled. He, one minute, Satya Prakash Has he won incremental he number has, of seats? That was, and has, no, he, that has he won back, incremental, back has he got incremental, no, no, incremental BJP, vote share BJP, year after year, term after yeah. term? Understand that BJP backstepped Nitish Kumar in the last election. 
that was the reason our seat got reduced mm, but he still continued so and but he still but he still stayed on with him formed government was chief minister for nearly two years is it so let me tell you let me assure you of one more thing that nitish kumar has never broken any promise which he made to the people of bihar that is his so, credibility whatever pro whatever promise he makes to a lalu prasad yadav whatever promise he makes to a pm modi or amit shah it's all right as long as he gets the kursi and he is no, continuing no, no, that, to give that, the promise that, that, to the people kind what of promise he, what promise to the people anything what, one minute what oh, promise grab the chair देखिए जिस मेरा सिंपल पॉइंट ये है इट्स अबाउट क्रेडिबिलिटी सर इफ इफ यू कंटिन्यू इंटरप्ट आई एम अनेबल टू स्पीक सत्य प्रकाश सत्य प्रकाश आई एम आस्किंग यू ओनली आई एम आस्किंग यू दिस इवन एज ही वेंट इनटू द आरजेडी फोल्ड ही कमिटेड द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स चेयर टू तेजस्वी यादव so did he committed to the people or did he committed to the आरजेडी डिड ही आस्क द पीपल कैन आई मेक दिस कमिटमेंट यू आर मिस मिस इन यू आर मिस इंटरप्रेटिंग द फैक्ट what he said in a ceremony that okay in 2025 tejasvi will lead that that was a kind of boost and indication by mr nitish kumar but at the same point of time he is committed to the people of bihar for development so aapki yes, party ka kya hoga before yesterday he was Satya asking Prakash for satyaprakash ji satyaprakash ji was asking sorry please no, no, come you are come misinterpreting the fact no no, 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 no. don't misinterpret the fact nitish I kumar has never you. said anything much beyond than this i am asking you sir nitish kumar ji has who is yeah, has i am giving what you has reply. he done for his own party you reply that nitish kumar ji i was distinguished leader what of our party what has he done for his own he party sir he has just boosted something what has he done for his own party who is the next person after after nitish kumar ji to lead the jdu no, don't is worry about that even a nitish kumar party? is now leader if the, for if the jdu no, the if the jdu that, chief is committing that tejasvi will lead no, JDU, and jdu once, will play for, for a second fiddle no, that why is will, why will that is your interpretation jdu rjd and other five political party has joined hand together to combat bjp to contain bjp in at national so level and can, bihar mein to bjp hai nahi agar agar aapka nahi nahi dekhe agar bihar interpret what nitish agar bihar mein bjp nahi hai to aap bjp ko ye keh rahe hain ki bjp nahi unka aap jdu ko kamzor kiya aap keh rahe hain bihar mein bjp nahi hai aur aap keh rahe hain ki bihar mein bjp bjp nahi jdu ko kamzor bhi kiya bjp aap ek taraf keh rahe hain ki bjp ki taakat hai dusri taraf ki bjp ki koi taakat nahi reduced बीजेपी को बिहार में कोई ताकत नहीं है लेकिन बैक स्टेप करने की ताकत थी हमारे साथ तो उन्होंने वो किया अच्छा 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 एक मिनट आपने इतनी सारी बातें कर दी मैं आपको ये कह रहा हूँ ये अभी तेजस्वी जी के बारे में डिस्कशन का मैटर नहीं है नहीं तेजस्वी नहीं मैं तो ये पूछ रहा हूँ की जो व्यक्ति आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू एड एनीथिंग मोर ऑन दैट जी सत्य प्रकाश जी सत्य प्रकाश जी यू कैन बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन योर डिफेंस बट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड कॉमन सेंस आई एम आस्किंग यू इफ समी स्टार्टेड अ पार्टी एंड फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स हेज फॉट अगेंस्ट अ पर्टिकुलर कॉज ही स्प्लिट in ways they were two good friends jay aur viru mein jhada jhagda ho gaya and then he was fighting jay was fighting against viru after after you fighting have, against him for 15 years 20 years then jay and viru say let's 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 drink the poison of our animosity and then come together then again he says are bardash nahi hua i will you never go back to him he said that also ab ye galti fir se nahi dohrayenge फिर दो साल बाद फिर से वही गलती उन्होंने दोहराई है तो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम आस्किंग ऑल ऑन रिकॉर्ड नीतीश कुमार जी ऑन रिकॉर्ड सेइंग दिस ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ द बिहार करेक्ट मी फाइम रॉ डॉक्टर निखिल आनंद उन्होंने okay. कहा था कि नहीं कि अब ये okay. गलती दोबारा नहीं होगी राइट मे आई रिप्लाई ही प्रोमिस सत्य प्रकाश जी प्लीज वेट निखिल आनंद एंड देन आई एस आई कम बैक टू सर आई कम बैक प्लीज वेट he told this he promised this on the floor of assembly that he will not join hand with rjd and now he is saying that our today things are very clear our national party in charge vinod tawre already said last month in our state executive meet hmm. that doors are closed for nitish kumar today amit shah ji clarified this and now rjd will take on nitish kumar because it was a secret deal we have never and asked to open RJD the door okay now now okay let, let's just pause here for a bit uh, let, let me ask arun anand let me ask arun anand sir i sir sir one minute one minute satyaprakash ji let me ask arun anand arun anand consulting editor first post is with us simple point sir will you trust nitish kumar with your vote no. and and for him to lead the opposition or the challenge against pm narendra modi and also to become prime minister of the country does he have that trust of yours no i don't think he has that uh, kind of a factor and because he has uh, flipped you know uh, he has changed his sides uh, too frequently 
uh, one is that and second is that uh, unfortunately you know uh, nitish kumar was uh, one of those leaders who uh, was representing you know that progressive phase of bihar mm. and now instead of you know governance being the uh, popular agenda they have gone with the party which has been you know notorious for you know uh kind of you know dumping down bihar to almost like a bottomless pit we know the kind of you know governance crisis uh bihar had faced and let me tell you because i travel a bit and uh, uh also get to know uh, you know a uh, uh, lot of ground reports from the ground level there is lot of anarchy and you know there is lot of law and order issue the same situation which was there in the lalu raj that same situation is emerging and i'll give you a couple of examples one is that uh, you have uh, witnessed recently that a uh, lot of people had died of illegal hooch and mm. the kind of uh, uh, response we had got from the state government then we have seen you know uh, kind of shocking visuals where students were beaten on the streets mm. uh, for you know uh, when they were demonstrating for certain uh, you know demands and uh, your reporter also reported you just brought out a report that yeah. a university has to delay the so uh, exam because of you know a rally so these are all you know indications Hmm. and i think uh, this tactical alliance which nitish has done uh, i think it's going to backfire uh, but i also want to bring in a point see bihar is a very bihar is a very complex state hmm. and the caste lines are very uh, sharp there but right. when it come to assembly elections i think uh, this is a combination which bjp will have to fight you know tooth and nail but i think in the lok sabha elections hmm. uh, the bjp will have a very strong edge uh, but, but because in this case i'm i'm just i'm, I'm uh, just asking kind of I, i i totally understand that the, at the state level state level the dynamics are different at the center you your opinion arun anand's opinion is that this group is not going to pose the challenge to prime minister narendra modi led bjp when it comes to bihar itself pm modi is not that important factor as far as the local dynamics are concerned the bjp also does not have a face in bihar they don't have a proper leader they are also struggling they have not been able to get whoever was there in the past was uh, so close to nitish kumar he never did much for the party did more for nitish kumar that's the internal voice that has come out there so the bjp cannot also color itself in glory but my question to you satyaprakash mishra ji is what is the future of the jdu yeah. after nitish kumar my please hear me out please hear me out before you answer another 20 10 10 seconds i'll take yeah now that bjp has announced that there is no coming back for the jdu from tomorrow onwards you will see the rjd exercising pressure on nitish kumar to vacate the chief ministerial seat and focus on his national ambitions where does that leave the jdu then because then in bihar it becomes rjd versus bjp and the jdu will implode that is what some experts believe your thoughts it is pigment of imag- imagination hmm. for now that if you hypothetical it is very hypothetical something happened tomorrow who will lead what will happen even tejasvi yadav has himself said that okay it, there, there is no hurry regarding to such kind of post point 1 hmm. nitish kumar ji is going to serve this nation more than 20 year more Hmm. don't think about that what will happen don't speculate such kind of at least such we we never speculate what happen if narendra modi tomorrow is not the leader of bjp or sonia gandhi or all any political outfit no what is your plan every political party has now, to have a succession has, plan united, hold on don't it is not a pocket no, party no, of no 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 what you worry about we no, have no, no, all, one minute one minute why you are worried about that why you are worried about that why you are worried about that one minute one minute satyesh prakash please hear me is the leader of satyesh prakash with due respect to nitish kumar ji and we hope that that he is there in political no, life and he is there for no no no, no, no we for, are not here to please, such kind of hypothetical no no question. please answer my question satyaprakash no i have the right to answer no this question qu- i have such, the right to ask question. this question because if the rjd is you? going to lead the lead no, the campaign ask, next time I, I, around I, I, so I'm is the jdu going to play second fiddle sir very much capacity so where i am asking you sir what is the future of the jdu what is the road map for the jdu what has he what has he envisioned and sir my question is if if mr nitish kumar does not have a road map for the jdu planned how can i trust him for have a road map for bharat oh, you don't trust him people will trust him people have been trusting him since last you know sir he cannot win only life. only Understand with this. seats in bihar no, no, no. he has to win seats pan in india he life, needs to have purchased pan india sir for him to become a national leader so i'm asking you sir what is the plan 
If you continue speaking, if you don't let me speak, no, no. If, Anand, you, try, if you don't let me speak, you have never, you, you're, you're you have not, never let you, me finish my point. You are not even answering either you my please question. Give me two minutes. Either okay, listen carefully. Take your either time. listen take your patiently. Time. Take your time. Give me two minutes. Six. Please, you don't okay. have a point. First of all, Nitish Kumar ji is Nitish Kumar ji will bring all the opposition party. He is in the role of Jay Prakash Narayan to bring all political party together. To save the nation, nation's democratic value, democratic setup, that mm. is his responsibility for now, and he will be leader for JDU and for the nation and for the Bihar mm. till he wishes to do so. Right. Nitish so, Kumar so in this you. ceremony has indicated something. Mm. No, no, hold on. Nitish Kumar ji has indicated something that has different connotation and different meaning. I don't want to add anything what okay. Nitish Kumar ji has already explained and already indicated. So, so let me ask but you this. Nitish me... Kumar ji is our leader okay. and let, he is let, leading let, the let, Mahagathbandhan and doctor, he will lead let, the even 2024 let, election let, for let, Mahagathbandhan. Let doctor, let doctor Nikhil Anand respond. Is he actually leading the Mahagathbandhan or is it the RJD that is leading the Mahagathbandhan? Today is Lalu Yadav or Lalu Yadav and Tejasvi are the stronger leaders in this market, but then with more say and more purchase on ground compared to Nitish Kumar. So then how can Nitish Kumar project himself as the national face? Is he not nothing but, you know, at the, at the hands of the, uh, of, of the Congress party and the RJD? How is he going to become the face of the opposition? And even if he does, he's going to be propped up. Why does that leave the JDU? And how does that bring a trust of those who want to look at an option beyond BJP? Uh, Nikhil Anand. See, the biggest problem with Nitish Kumar ji is that he has now, he has to deal with the RJD. He has thrown himself in front of RJD and RJD is going to choose. Nikhil, you deal with your problem, because yeah. according to the secret deal, according to the secret deal, he and has Nikhil, to forget the secret deal. you deal with your own problem. You are, you are, you are unable to digest to the popularity of Nitish yeah, Kumar and credibility of Nitish Kumar. Who is, Nikhil, you into please. The, who is the BJP face? Worry about your own problem. One minute, Satya Prakash ji, one minute. Nitish Kumar ji, just project himself. Nitish Kumar ji, Nitish Kumar ji is at the mercy of the RJD. They have three leaders there. The, the opposition, the say. ruling disposition, one minute, Dr. Nikhil, Dr. Nikhil Anand, the ruling disposition in Bihar today has, the ruling disposition in Bihar today has three strong faces, Lalu Yadav, Nitish Kumar and Tejasvi Yadav, who's there in the BJP? See, BJP has at least who's the a face dozen of, of them, even, even not Nikhil, who's the, pay, who's the face of the BJP? Bihar. Aray, sir, BJP ka chehra kona Bihar mein, sir? BJP ka chehra kona Bihar mein? किसके नाम पर किस पीएम पीएम मोदी पीएम मोदी के नाम पर आप बिहार का विधानसभा चुनाव लड़ेंगे वहाँ who's the face of course you don't have a leader you don't you have not been able to single out you've not been able to even arrive upon a leader in Bihar what is the how are you going to mount a challenge how are you going to have a mount a challenge when you don't have strong leaders on ground sir not leaders the leadership so like I said, sir, Simply. like I said, sir, oh, Lok Sabha is a different dynamic, but for oh, the BJP to establish thing. itself in Bihar, you need to have a face, you need to have a face locally, sir, who's going to be able to bring them and a narrative which is going to be different from that of Lalu and Nitish Kumar that you don't have right now. Arun Anand, I have to wind up, but final word to you. If you look at Lok Sabha 2024, has Nitish Kumar put himself in a, in a corner from where he is going to be at the mercy of the other opposition leaders? Is he going to I be mean, able to give any wind to his ambition as as a prime ministerial face? No, it's a it's a non-starter kind of a thing. Uh, what we are talking about, it's a mirage which they are chasing. Because uh, see, uh, the thing is that uh, to become a tall leader, to become you know a, a leader of the opposition or this thing, you also need backing of the organizational cadre and a clear-cut ideology. Hmm. And without and then you also have uh, you know. Uh, so all these three things have to come a couple of right. things have to come together just merely by making statements or right. just by putting you know two plus two kind of a caste combination you can't become a leader I think BJP right. has a very strong edge that with that Narendra Modi with his charismatic personality is also right. backed by a clear cut ideological roadmap which these political the rest of the opposition doesn't have right I thank you all my panelists thank you very very much for joining us on the Saturday debate quickly going across to a big CNN News 18 exclusive our investigations editor Manish Gupta getting us these data details the Tibetan Losar celebrations under the 
Okay, Chinese community uh, uh, communist parties watch. That's what's happening. CCP is keeping close tabs on the Tibetan celebrations in Tibet. The Tibetans are upset with the Chinese government for increased surveillance during the Losar festival. And according to local sources, increased surveillance is one reason locals are very upset. Agencies are coming and searching houses and doing facial profiling being done. Chinese government with great difficulties has permission, given permission to celebrate the Losar festival between the 20th and the 26th of this month. But locals have been told in Lhasa that this is a danger to national security. Tibetans celebrating their festival is a danger to national security, CCP has said. Police is guarding the area with close proximity and they are fearing protests by locals against government. And according to Tibetans, this time His Holiness, the Dalai Lama's palace, visit uh, permission has also not been opened. But they've been asked to show identity cards. Tibetans feel that this is an attack on their freedom and the Chinese government wants to contain them. And ultimately, they'll be converted to camps like the Uyghurs. Concern being raised. Another big development with respect to China, U.S. export controls on Chinese semiconductors have entirely ruined the chip industry, sparking mass bankruptcy fears in which thousands of companies shut down their businesses. As many as 5,746 Chinese chip companies have been deregistered in 2022, a 68% increase from 3,420 in the previous year, according to Chinese media. Titanium Media app reporting on 16th of Feb. This is about a f 15 chip companies every day on an average. China's leading flash memory manufacturer Yangtze Memory has reduced its production volume and planned to lay off 10% of its employees two months after being included on Washington's entity list of export control in December. U.S. export controls on Chinese semiconductors also significantly affected Chinese firms' performance and confidence. Experts say the reason for the large-scale bankruptcy of Chinese chip companies is the U.S.-China technology war. The U.S. alleging that China has engaged in technology theft for many years. Last year in August, President Joe Biden officially signed the Chips and Science Act 2022. In October 2022, the U.S. Department of Commerce announced a series of chip export control measures which is hurting Chinese manufacturers. With that, we call it a wrap. Thank you for watching.